Hello, today I'll be setting up a monowall firewall on an embedded system using a Mac running Leopard. I'll be using an ALIX 2C3 board which has 500 megahertz processor, 256 mega memory, uh, three network jacks, compact flash slot, and a mini PCI socket. I do a lot of work on remote uh, client networks through uh, VPN tunnels. Uh, so I have a number of IPSEC tunnels that I keep open 24-7. I'll be using a VPN accelerator card to offload the encryption uh, for the tunnels from the CPU. Uh, I will be using a Socris VPN 1411 mini PCI card to handle that task. Uh, I will put links to these items as well as detailed instructions on my site. So, oh, and the site being pc-doc.com. So let's get started. Uh, first thing that you notice on my desktop is I have two image files. Uh, the first is an image of FreeDOS, uh, which also has the BIOS update for the uh, ALIX motherboard, just so I can make sure it's the newest uh, BIOS on there. And that version would be 0 0.99. The second image is um, the embedded image from Monowall, uh, which is 1.3B11. So to get started, we're going to take the compact flash card. In this case, I'm using a 512 meg megabyte uh, compact flash card. I'm going to plug it into my card reader. All right, and we'll notice that it uh, mounted, which is right here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to unmount any partitions that are open uh, as well as find out what the disk number of this uh, card is on my system. So to do that we're going to open up Disk Utility. We're going to click on any partitions that will be in that card and we're going to unmount them. Okay, and you would repeat that for any other partitions that were there. And then we're going to right click on the drive and we're going to get information. And the disk identifier in this case is disk 6. So in my case it's disk 6, in your case it might be 5 or 4 or 7, whatever it might be. Uh, just write it down, you're going to need it for uh, uh, following steps that will come up in this tutorial. So we're going to close out of disk utility. We're going to open up terminal. I'll make this a little larger for you guys to read. And we're going to, first thing to do is switch to my desktop, which is where I have the files located. And then I'm going to issue the following command, which is to put the uh, uh, free DOS image onto the compact flash card. And this is where I'm putting my disk number, which is 6. In your case, you change it to whatever it is. And we'll enter to execute the command. Okay. That's been uh, put on there now. And we're going to eject the card. And remove it from the system. And we're going to plug it into the embedded card, embedded motherboard. All right, that's plugged in. Uh, I'll be hooking up the board to my system via USB serial adapter uh, that has a null modem adapter uh, attached to it. And that's plugged in. Now before I apply power to it, I'm going to go to terminal and I'm going to hit command T to open up another screen, uh, another terminal session, and I'm going to type in ls And this is just to double check to make sure whatever device you're using. In my case, it's USB serial. Uh, whatever your driver uses uh, is what you would use on the next command, which will be screen. In my case, it's USB serial. And the speed is 38400. And we're going to hit that. 
and it's going to sit there looking at the motherboard now, waiting for it to power up. So I'm going to apply power to the motherboard. Okay, and it sees that it is um, already at 0.99, which is the newest BIOS version. Um, if it wasn't, you would just type in the following command, which is SB, and that would, and it's not going to do any harm. It'll just look at what my version is first before uh, going to the next step, which will be flashing it. But if it wasn't, it would flash your board. In my case, it didn't because it saw that they're the same. And I'm going to now power off the embedded board, remove the comp.